Hi guys, my name's Rian, and today we have been asked to do writing in Swedish. So, I've got my pencil case, i got my pad. This is in English, because I was sent this in the post. This, well, just, I got sent this in the post from my, from my cousin. So, let's get started. He found it very casual to send it in the post because he doesn't like sending stuff by, you know, because it's just like, oh yeah, let's just send it through the post box and we'll just forget about everything else. So in my pencil case, you can imagine, when I unzip it, it's a very snazzy pencil case. I have an orange pen and a blue pen. Orange stands out very good. We'll get our blue pen, and we will type here, into the top here, hij, grabba. Oh, that's a B. Uh, that equals Hi guys. So I get I'll bring it up so you get a closer look at that. Hi grabber equals hi guys. So what else should we put? Should we put on like a full on sentence? So right now I think we should say So, right now, I think we should do like a full sentence. So, now, uh, should we ask what my favourite colour is and my name? And a couple of other stuff. Okay. So, here, we must write... It's pen. So you know what, let's go with a different colour. Let's go with um funky colour. Let's go with orange. Let's go with orange. <sighs> Cause orange is a funky colour, right? So Nim So so far that says Hija Hija Mit Nam Ridian Now that's my name now it says Hi my name Hi my name Ridian Here we'll get closer look That there says he, my name, so right now, I'll put my, which is min, my, min, favorite, Now, the most important bit of this one is you must put two little dots on top of the A. And then a quotation mark at the end. Because, hey, 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 my, hi, hi, my name, Ridian. My favorite color. For forgot that's um, contained is one word. 
so my favorite color is of course if everybody didn't know is blue so here we would put black not forgetting the most important symbols above the A as you can see black I do not forget the symbols above the A because that is the the best part of it and if we don't put the symbols above the A, it wouldn't look right. So let's write it again, but this time without the symbol A. Oh, that's terrible, I'm sorry. That just looks like blah, but when you actually do put the symbols it looks better here see the difference I certainly can because it is a lot different to English writing which is kind of good and well you know it's quite a different type and it's a different style of the way we write stuff so also, what the way we write stuff? Well, the way we write stuff is different. It's different in every way to everyone. So, to be honest, we could right. So we do the next. To be honest, when the English writing is like this, I will write the I will write the English up here first. I'll write the English first, and then I will write the Swedish. So I'll. This is what we're gonna ask. What favorite food food do you like? No, I'm sorry. What food do you like? Sorry, not you. Please excuse that. What foods? What food do you like? So right now we'll write that in Swedish. Vad from Mat Geller. And of course, every question deserves a question mark. And my favourite food would have to be no lies. My favourite foods would have to be this. Let's change up the colour a bit because I'm sick of seeing orange a bit now. So we'll change up the colour, we'll go for blue. Do you see that? See the Swedish? Swedish is good. So that's Which obviously means this. Which equals killing equals chicken. And who doesn't like chicken? Chicken's tasty. Um, so, you see, how this hasn't got any symbols on it. This didn't have any symbols on it, should I say. When this word did have a symbol, 
this word didn't need a symbol. Just the way of the two differences, really. But the next thing we're going to ask is, wh what do you what do you have have in your your pencil case? What do you have in your pencil case? So, I'm going to tell you now, I don't have much in my pencil case because literally it's flat now, look. It's flat. That's not good. It's flat. So, now, I will type in the top type. Right, sorry. I'm sorry. What? Do you have in your pencil pencil spot P and uh, C I L I think. <laughs> I'm not going very good speller, guys. See that? What do we have in that? What do you have in your pencil case? Well, I was in Swedish. It is a lot shorter than that. So, you have it as vad har har du I din then no the pen the field so that is big paragraph and that is as you can see it's a lot shorter than the tough line is because it is a lot shorter when you ask it in Swedish than you do ask it in English. But as I say, every language is different. The same with Dutch. Dutch is a lot different. Dutch is longer. You get long languages that are long and short. So to be honest, you think that's short, and you think the English language is long, and then that's short. Blue, blue is this, isn't it? Blue equals with the two uppercase symbols. Blue equals blah, and as you can also see, there's difference. Blue, blah, blue, blah, and you can see there's an L. They're missing out. U and E, and they've replaced the E with an A. So that's quite handy to know, actually. So they've changed it round a bit in something I never thought they would do. But they have changed it, so it would be an awful lot different. So um, now I think we should write. Now I think I should show you this. I think we should put on a Swedish video while I am just to excel you get the hang of how a Swedish song would go and then we can have then I can do a bit of lines, maybe do a bit a bit more paragraph of that while you're watching the Swedish song. So, every, of course, every language is different, and it is harder to understand, but we you do get the gist of it. And this song is a two-minute one, I think. Is it? No, I'm lying. It's three minutes. But I'll put it on. Hopefully not ads. There we go.
Oi. We hebben een opino uit. Ah, oké, okay, it's starting. I'm going to have to pull you closer to the computer. It's going to be dark, but it'll be okay. So guys, that was a Swedish song, and whether or not you wouldn't believe what it was, and if any of you did get what it was, please let me know, and then I will reveal in future videos what it was. So right now, we're going to write a paragraph with this pencil. Hopefully if this pencil doesn't break, because <laughs> that would be a catastrophe if it did. And I would not like it if it broke on me because I need it to write. Because I give up on the pens because they weren't working. So I just thought it would be, you know, appropriate to use this for the writing. Because anything that writes is good for the teacher's right, if I'm right. Because it keeps them happy. And I know it does keep them happy. Because if you do work, you get on their good side, kids. Doesn't upset them. Then they don't have to have a go at you. Especially if you're in high school, do work. Don't want to waste your time like, like some of us do. Remember one of my friends? spent their entire high school life just messing around and they got they got nothing in life 
basically got nothing in life and now as you can imagine they were left doing something they didn't want to do they dreamed of becoming something big but they didn't because they didn't study in school And then when you don't study in school, it's not good because you don't get anywhere. And as you can imagine, you don't want to be in the state you, where you have no job nor nothing. Because it's not nice. And it's not a good job either. So, unless you don't want to be living on the streets when you're older, besides get good study in school, kids. I have to make sure I've got space on the page, otherwise I run out of room. This is to all the teachers out there who says my... I cannot write big paragraphs. I say hi to all you teachers who say I can't write big paragraphs. Because it does, writing, I know it's hard, and I understand it's hard. Especially if people have, like, you know, people who struggle with writing. But as people know, the sooner you get on, you accept things in life. The faster your life gets. And that song, in case you didn't know what that song was, it was, you know Bambi? Well, it was Bambi 2, I believe. Bambi too, and it's in was first sign of spring. So, yeah, you can imagine. We will continue. I am almost finished writing now, guys. Woo! That big paragraph in Swedish, as you can see it. Put my hand in the way, sorry. Is what you call a big paragraph, and I'll read it to you. Hi, do you like my YouTube channel? And I hope you enjoy my videos. I will keep uploading more and more if you want. Make sure to stay tuned for more. So keep tuned, guys, for more stuff stuff hope you enjoyed this video and stay awesome pro army so as always my name's been ridian and i will catch you all later stay awesome pro army